Hey, I'm Nick Avalon Gamer. Welcome back to FM22, the beta. It's episode number 11. We're going to be wrapping up the season, and we still got a lot to get through. It's mid-April now, so it's about a month further ahead than where we left off. We begin with the intake. Uh, I like the new look because it actually analyzes the talents. There's good talents, and there's decent talents. Guys, it just really aren't going to make the cut, and plenty of the good talents aren't going to make it. Just a good intake. I like that that's there as well. You get kind of a clear evaluation of what it is you're getting. Uh, a look at the intake distribution. Yeah, it's, it's nice the way that's set up. But of course, we're not going past this season, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's move on. And so we left off last time with an important 1-0 win in the Champions League. We then went on to claim some victories in the league itself. Our next Champions League matchup against the Tunisian side was in a way draw goalless neither team able to grab a goal that point ended up being ultimately irrelevant because when we then went on to claim a 6-0 victory uh, at the weaker side on the road that same Tunisian side yet again claimed victory over the Algerian side and that gave us a one point edge to claim second place in the group stage so we will be moving on speaking of who we're going up against yeah we'll get to that in a moment that's what's next for us uh, but in the league well the cup the South African cup yeah out in the quarterfinal to the golden arrows but uh, a we were on the road b tons of games in a short stretch of time it was two weeks to uh, two games per week, week after week after week after week, and uh, it's taken its toll. Shalile was unavailable. He is available again, but he was unavailable for that one, and we we lost. Uh, we also took a home tie, a draw against Amazulu, who sits second in the league. Currently, that puts us five points ahead in the league, ahead of Amazulu, so the, the draw was necessary to not have them close up on us. A win, of course, would have put us uh, a bit further ahead. I mean, we'd be sitting on 55 and they'd have 47. And eight points this late in the season would be looking pretty good. Five points is not looking bad, especially with a game in hand. Uh, so we're still in a good spot. Uh, we play 30 in this league. So we are drawing close to the end of the season. This is how we look as a team historically. We've won the African Champions League a single time. We've won the South African Premier League 14 times, which is good. And we definitely have some other trophies here. And we won the African Super Cup once. Uh, so we, we do have some success. We're, we're definitely not a team without a history. In fact, when you look at league record since 2013-2014, We've won the league, or placed in the top two, at least, every single season, winning it much more often than not, including four straight years in a row. We're looking to make that five. We do appear to be poised to, to claim that, to make that a fifth time, at, at least at this point, but it's certainly not a shoe-in. It's not automatic. They're making us work for it, but I think we're going to be okay. Now, the team that took first in our league, the Tunisian side, this is what their history looks like. They've won the Champions League four times. They've won the Tunisian League 31 times. I mean, this is a team that is easily twice as successful as we are. But the Egyptian team, based in Cairo, that we play in the quarterfinals, this is their history. This is a crazy good side. This is, I believe, the most dominant side in all of Africa. And the only team to go through the group stage winning all six matches. They have 10 African Champions League victories to our one. 10 times as successful. They have 42 league victories to our 14. In, I think, the number one most prestigious league in Africa. We got the hardest draw in the group stage and we've gotten the hardest draw in the quarterfinals only eight teams left but we're gonna have our work cut out for us to make it to the final four to make it to the semis if we do though our chances go up here is those final outcomes from the group stage it is Shalile who has the highest 
uh, goal mark at the moment and sits second. And it is Nurkovic who actually has the highest average rating who plays for us now, which is also why he's unavailable. And that really hurts not having uh, two of our better players available because they played for the Kaiser Chiefs. The Kaiser Chiefs also qualify for uh, like us they they took second place in their group and qualified for the quarterfinals uh, but that is what we are looking at rough go rough go again the only team with all 18 points gold differential was only plus nine but that's not to say that this team was awful i mean they lost six matches but their goal differential was minus eight which means i mean that's one and a quarter goals per per match that they, they only gave up they lost like one nothing or two one kind of throughout all right quarterfinal this is a massive match you can see the crowd it is packed they are so excited for this one as am i let's see what we can do morena forces the turnover early we certainly have a shot we are gonna come out aggressive in this because it's the home leg we have to be on the front foot even though this team might be better our only shot is if we come out of this one with maybe a couple goal advantage. So we have got to try to pick that up or at least get a one goal advantage. But we would like to get a two goal advantage. That was a really nice uh, grouping of balls right there, but we couldn't quite pull it together. Aramenko's shot was blocked in the end. And they come the other way. So I I'm nervous about playing positive, but again, we can't go into the second leg on the road at nil-nil or down 1-0. So we cannot play defensively today. We have to be aggressive. We have to be on the front foot. It's our only chance. Second leg, we can try to hit them on the counter, but we can't rely on the goals there. We need them today. Possession's good so far. Nice ball across there, Shalile. He turns, he finds weight, it's blocked. Now inside again, Kudamela turns. Oh, I think he was trying to lay that off for Shalile, but it was deflected as he did and then cleared on the second touch. Three shots already. We have some XG. They have nothing so far. We have 65% possession. We are 20 minutes into this. The possession rate has dropped quite a bit, and they got their first shot, and it was on target, but it was not noteworthy. It seemed like it was an easy save. So, so far so good. Nearly half an hour played, but no goals yet. Shalile. Tracks back, Kudamela. Nice layoff for Zwayne. Finds Kudamela again. Kudamela lays it off for Aramenko, but he sends it backwards. We're going the wrong direction. Jolly inside. There's Serino. Nice shot. Pretty decent save. Keeper was well placed there, but that was our first on target attempt. Labusa cuts inside, finds Jolly. Serino takes it to the outside with Morena. Morena beats his man. Chulile, header, back of the net. That is huge. We lead 1-0. Great cutback there from Moreno to get some space. Shalile just beats his man. Keeper should have come off his line and punched that away. He doesn't. Shalile makes him pay. Zwayne wiped out. Straight red. Is it it? Straight red card? Yes, it is. It is a straight red card for that dangerous tackle. It's right through the man, studs up. And now, now we have a chance to really put a hurting on. Shalile, can he make it too? No, it's blocked. Keeper, what a save. Shalile got the sidestep, but the keeper kept his footing and dove with the sidestep and made the stop. But just before halftime, that straight red card gives us a real shot in this one possession you don't have to worry about those three minutes possession for that half was quite high i think we can afford to be even more positive now we're going to go attacking in the second half this is our chance we have a real shot now to go through if we can come away with an excellent result today if we can get like two more goals in the second half playing up a man and go three nil into the away draw oh i think we could we can hang on we can hang on. Let's see if we can get two more. That's my target. Uh, Morena's not going to make it the distance, but he will make it into the second half. Aramenko doing really good for an old man. 
Second half underway, Serino opens with a easy giveaway. Luckily, that's just a simple highlight, and we move on from there. Zwayne takes a bit of a punishment. Looks like he was fouled pretty hard as his uh, energy was sapped quite quickly. Kudamela with the cross. Shalile gets there, chests it down, controls it, and then sends it out. We reset. Zwayne gets a chance. Out for a corner. This one cleared out. Serino sets up Coatsy. Coatsy crosses in. That one cleared away, and they start coming the other direction. Aramako, free kick, lots of space, great, great ball, but the keeper makes an even better save to keep the score at reasonable for them. Labusa clears, but they're still in possession. They find some space, way too easy on that one. The Egyptian side traveled well. We've got a full end to their stadium, so I'm expecting the away leg is going to be full as well. Will we be able to send enough fans? Ooh, nice first touch from Tao, and he blasts it wide. That could have drawn this game level. Hour, hour into the match. Okay, we've got to start watching Marina, Zwayne, Shalile, Jeruk. We're going to need subs soon. Zwayne forces the turnover. No foul. Long ball ahead. Headed on. And Yango. Now Labusa finds Zwayne in space. He's running down the sideline. He's going to cut in just a little bit. He gets a shot off. Shalile gets that in there somehow. I don't know if that was shouldered down. It didn't look like it was a header. The keeper puts it out for the throw. Jali's going to recover. Zwayne's going to get another chance on the cross, but he's going to go low. Serino forces an excellent save. Keeper, the only thing keeping them in this, that's two very close chances. Otherwise, it could be three at this point. Okay, Zwayne is tired. They want to bring in Nobeni, and that's probably suitable. The defensive wingbacks, those guys do a lot of running. Zwayne, his shot saved. They're having a good day, but I think we do need to bring on Nobeni now. We need fresh legs. Not offside, apparently. Zwayne crosses. Serino blasts it. He is getting so many chances, and the keeper making brilliant save after brilliant save. Marina having... A fantastic rating, but he is now fatigued to the point that he needs to come off. Modiba is injured, but available. He is available, I think, for uh, half, and we only have 20 minutes to go, so he should be able to make it. We get Modiba on. He's not fully fit, but he's the man we need right now in this situation. Still 1-0. We need at least one more goal. Serino headed away. Another corner. Counter-attack starts. Labusa, nice sliding tackle. Recovers the ball. Kudamela all the way back. Gets Serino. Serino finds Modiba into some space. Nice cross there. And uh, Kudamela, that one, he gets a touch in, but the keeper is right there on him. Pushes it out. Keeper having a wonderful day being the difference. I mean, it's 14-9 on the shots. We need to be aggressive. We need a second goal. We need to treat this like we are down. Aramenko, another nice shot over the wall and the keeper, another stop. Shalile ripped down. Could it be a second yellow? It is. Oh, it's straight red. No, it was a second yellow. It was a second yellow, but they are down. And not out, apparently. Nine guys, but they are threatening and they nearly score. That one scrapes the outside of the post. One minute to go. Ball in. Labusa still cannot get a second goal. Cannot get the breakthrough. I mean, yes, it's it's important to have no away goals, having the clean sheet and having an advantage going into the second leg. But with just 20 seconds remaining, it is not looking good for a second. No, Benny cannot get on the end. It's cleared out. That's probably going to do it. And it does. We get what we needed. We, we get a win today, but ah, disappointing, disappointing. XG, somewhere between two to three goals was expected and we just could not capitalize on playing a, a full half with an extra man and even, what, eight minutes in the end, counting stoppage time? Well, probably seven by time that was all sorted out. Seven minutes up two. 
we still could not get the ball in the back of the net. At least we got the one. And the other guys, those guys will not be eligible for that next match. So that's another advantage going into that one. But it's going to be in Cairo. Super difficult. And there's more than one factor that goes into this, but looking at the score lines from all of the quarterfinals, obviously we have a very tight contest and we go into this one with that slight edge at 1-0. But looking at the side that we faced in the group stage, they absolutely crushed their way through the first round, and that was on the road. So they're going to be heading for the semifinals, no problem. And then you have... An interesting setup. Here's a second Egyptian side. Not the big time champions. This is like the second place Egyptian side. They won 4-0 against a side from Congo. Then the other side from Congo that also made the quarterfinals won on the road 4-3 at Kaiser Chiefs. That just kind of sets the tone for uh-oh, right? You can see the edge that they have and how that kind of trickles back towards us and making us very much not the favorite. But again, two things going for us. One, two players that saw red in that last match are going to be unavailable. Two, we do have a one nothing advantage. They scored no goals on the road, so even if they beat us 2-1 in this one, the road goal differential would make the difference. And it's halftime here in the second leg. It's goalless in this leg. We started on the front foot, did really well, pulled some XG, had a few shot attempts inside the first 15 minutes, and looked the more likely of grabbing a goal. They had no XG at that point. But then things kind of flipped, and they they shut us down, and they really started to uh, find some chances. In fact, they did put the ball in the back of the net, but it was just offside, and it was given... Uh, the decision was only made after VAR determined that it was just offside. But I think that change happened when I went from positive to balanced to try to be more defensive. It's an offensive lineup. The only way that this lineup works is if we play positively. And when we play positively, you can see it puts them on the back foot. And it's all us controlling the match and controlling possession. We have 60% possession even going just balanced but the chances came for them by not being aggressive enough and forcing them to pull back and park the bus a little bit so we're gonna try here in the second half and see if we can get them on the back foot again for a little while we might have to go for a total tactical change dropping much much deeper uh, and reshaping the formation in the final 20 minutes or so to hang on and that even then, that might make me nervous. But they are going to come at us. So even if we're positive, they're going to come at us. They know they have to. And they're certainly capable of scoring. So I, I feel like I don't have a choice. I can't just keep going on the front foot and hope that it hangs on. We're a little too vulnerable at the back. And Coetzee got hurt on a play here early on. I cannot believe that it did not get called a foul uh, as it was clear and obvious. Nothing given. And, uh, so I, I have to sub Coetzee out. So Kakana is on, which means we have a little bit less in terms of passing uh, coming out of that wide center back roll. And that was a real chance there coming up on the hour mark. And we still lead this thing. By the way, even if they score... It's not over. Aramenko now hurt as well. Aramenko is hurt. Uh, let's bring on somebody more defensive anyway. Uh, Mavala might be a good option for that. We're going to bring Mavala on, and we will change Mavala's role to something more defensive. We do not need a goal here. We need to stop them from scoring. And it's just about time to start thinking about that. Yeah, they are starting to get quite offensive here. Another chance going over the bar. Okay. Coming up. We're, we're into the last half hour. In fact, we're in the last 25. Jali. Aramako still has not been subbed off. Are you kidding me? 
Hey, Jelly, long ball over to Shalili. Oh. Defender got a leg in there. Blocked that one. That was our first shot attempt of the second half. Kana, Morena, nice turn. Nice turn, he beats his man. He's through, he's through. All the way, Shalili! Goal! That might do it. Finally, the Mavala sub has been completed. I don't even think it did it at the time. Uh, Zwayne looks like the likely third and final target, and with the timing, uh, Nobeni can play more defensive, as can Modiba. Maybe we want to bring out... No, no, no. Was Rabia onside? Probably. Looks like he might have been. Poor marking. This Hassan was wide open. That's a leveler in the leg. Goal differential, though. They could still score one more, and we still win, and we're into stoppage. Away goals do count. I know FIFA has changed that, but I checked the rules. Away goals do... Oh, terrible giveaway there. What the heck was that? Kakana gets back in time, though. Again over the top, and a chance, and he's going to blast that in, and then we clear it away. Shalile retreats, gets the ball. Found a little space there, and we clear that, and end up kicking it near the corner flag. That was kind of a weak giveaway, but time is up. Time is up. This should do it. They're not going to get two goals, and it does. We are through. Wow. Wow, that goal. I mean, look at that. That goal, after the first 15 minutes, that goal was the only XG just about that we picked up the whole way. Six shots, but we got a goal. For once, we are on the losing side of the XG battle, but don't lose the match in that situation. And we're going to go up against Vita Club in the semifinal. They are the ones who beat Kaiser Chiefs to get here. They, like us, have won the Champions League a single time. And they're, they've got 14 Premier Division uh, championships. We had 14. We now have 15. We just wrapped up the league. There are four matches left in the season, but we are up by 13 points as the, the closest competitors have all fallen off and beaten each other up. Uh, so taking those losses have now put us clear to the point i mean it was pretty close just a few matches ago and we've opened it up we continue to win where they're not we have taken one league draw over the last about 10 but we've got like nine wins and one draw in the last 10 so uh, and that one draw was all 11 it was in between that semi-final so all 11 were swapped out all 11 were given a rest so the two legs uh or sorry that quarterfinal match uh, so that we were good to go We've got a real shot to beat Vita Club, but the only thing about this team is they uh, they have a massive stadium. 80,000 is their capacity. That is much larger than our stadium. Uh, we'll see if that has an impact as we go forward. All right, here we go. Semi-final matchup. Let's see what we could do. We are considered favorites for this one, so we'll see. Uh, if we actually can live up to the expectation. We were not. We were underdogs in that last matchup. With a half hour gone by, we are really starting to take control of this match. We went from a handful of chances up to 10 and came really close moments ago with the keeper just saving it off the line. Another shot there is blocked, though. Uh, not all 100% us, but it's mostly us right now. And we look very likely to get multiple goals in this one. In fact, the XG already pushed beyond one. You would think that it's imminent. Uh, Jali, the only one who's not happy, thrilled at the moment. He seems to be a little stressed out by the mo the, the atmosphere that we're in. So he might be needing a sub at some point as he's not playing too well. Uh, and then the fatigue factor. Of course, our wingers always get a little more tired than others. Here's Zwayne again. Zwayne. Lays it off. Serena with the long shot. That's 
saved by the keeper. Long diving save to get to that one. Marina draws the, the foul in a very dangerous place. Serino, oh, terrible ball in though. That was awful. Labusa lays it off for Aramenko. Daruk, Serino, back to Coetzee, back to Serino again. Now Morena. He's going to take it to the corner. Sets up Serino. Back and forth. Give and go. Another give and go. And this shot goes wide. Far post. Come on. Keeper standing a foot away from near post. Far post is wide open. All you need is to pass it inside that corner. And the keeper is not going to save that. XG is all us, though. Very, very dominant. One and a half already on the XG as we hit halftime. But no goals. Swain dribbles straight out of bounds to start the second half. Certainly not what we wanted to see, but here's a free kick for Aramenko. Oh, way up in the corner. Amasolo through the post, dives and saves it. That's not a, that's not a save you're going to make because that post is going to literally murder you or you have to dive in front of it, in which case you're not going to get to that ball. That should have been a goal, but we get one moments later. There's the breakthrough. Morena takes it down the sideline. He's going to hit Shalile, who got a step on his defender, and then just comes to it near post. Keeper probably should have moved from his position, but he held firm where he was trying to react. He should have been a little more proactive and might have been able to stop that. But instead, we do have the breakthrough here early in the second half. It is now 1-0. Jelly still not too pleased. Thinking about making a change there. Mavala obviously is a good candidate to come in. There's very little between those two players. Morena has some space. What can he do this time? We're not on the front foot, though. Kunamela comes in a little bit late. Serino. Aramenko. Nice ball into Zwayne. Again to Aramenko. There's Cerrito. We're having to lay it off. They are really crowding the defensive midfield area. XG picking up more and more. Second goal imminent. Probably. Marina is tired. Let's bring on Modiba, who is doing a little bit better from his injury. You can see he's actually at full strength this time as he enters. Shalile could not get to that one, but Modiba picks up the loose ball. Crosses. Shalile, two. That's the goal we needed. That is the goal we needed. That's not offside. Yeah, that's goal. <laughs> that was definitely onside. Okay, Aramenko is pretty tired. He gets that way sometimes. Uh, we're going to bring in Vilikazi. Let's keep the attack going. Two is solid, though. Two is solid. We should be seeing the final. Here we are at the final. So excited for this one. And you wouldn't believe this. Well, maybe you will. Because they've been damn good. Uh, and they're probably the second most winning club around. And we knocked off the winningest club. So what happens? Yeah, they naturally make the final. The same Tunisian side that we were in the group stage with. Who, first time on the road, we outplayed them and lost by a goal. We had more XG, we had more shots, they converted, we did not, they won. Second time, they outplayed us ever so slightly, but it was very close, very balanced, and we finished level, it was a draw. So, uh, two tight contests, but ultimately we only took one point out of those two contests, and they were the group winner, not us. Can we strike lucky the third time. We hit the underside of the crossbar here in the 20th minute. So, so close to breaking the deadlock. XG-wise, we're only at 0 .04. That was our first attempt. We do have possession. We are playing on the front foot. You do not win by playing defensive in an offensive formation. It just does not happen. That ball seemingly went... No, it was offside. Okay, it was offside. I, I thought... They called us for carrying it out of bounds and that it was going to be a corner. But no, that ball laid off. I've given the start to Safranco. Otherwise, it's the same side we've seen for the last uh, two, three matches in the Champions League. Again, those two key players that we brought in in January that helped in the league immensely and uh, gave us the comfortable, comfortable win by the way, uh, with one match now left to play a couple days from now. Uh, a lot of the team, oh, we trail, we trail. That's a good goal. Kanate. 
16 points, one match left to play, and a lot of the teams have finished their season. They finished earlier today. Uh, our game was pushed back, obviously, because of this, but... We can easily get it back, and we get it back very easy, very quickly. Safranco, actually, not very quickly. It's a good 20 minutes later, but Safranco, good decision to bring him on. Kudamela has had so many chances and just not finished. He's not played well of late, and even though he partners well with Shalile. Safranco seems to score more regularly. That's why I gave him the nod and for that I have been rewarded in that decision as we now enter halftime totally level. Other than a possession advantage, a pass completion advantage, this thing could not be more even than it is. Second half underway. Biggest game of the year. African Champions League from which as dominant as we are as a South African club now having our fifth straight league championship. They've only won the, the African Champions League a single time. Once. Can we make it two? Can we double the history of this club in our first season with them? We've already won two trophies. Can we make it three? Here's Shulile. He's going to take it outside the edge of the box. Marina, his shot is blocked. He sets up Aramenko, but he plays it back instead of a forward pass. Dangerous position. I would not go that far back. I would take my chance and try to get something in. Here's Shulile. He's going to take it outside. He finds Zwayne inside, but he takes it to the same spot. Crosses. Safranco better with the header. Kudomela always heads those over. Safranco gets them on target. Did not score, but he earns the corner. Now Zwayne lays it off for Serino. Labusa over to Morena, finds spot, uh, space, and Coatsy, he lays it off, and that's the end of the highlight. No dice. One hour played. Thinking about subs now on Yango. That's the first time he's been challenged since they scored that goal. Though, the two teams are still very level. Our XG starting to rise above a little bit. We look the more likely to score, but only just. Neither team looking likely to score so much here in the second half, but Shulile... Carries that one touch too many. One touch too many. He had a chance at the corner of the six-yard box. And he took an extra touch towards the byline and, and then ran himself out of an angle. Too much space here. Too much space. Little worrying. That's blocked. Safranco, so nice. Nice hold-up play from him. Good job to get to that. And time is now running short. Morena is tired. Let's bring on Modiba. Swain on a yellow will probably sub him as well, especially because of the uh, the winger. You know, Benny is a bit of a downgrade, but uh, he has played well for us this season. Swain with that header before he heads off the pitch. 11-9 to nine on the shot attempts. Still could go either way. At this point, I'd like to see overtime. That could favor us. Oh, Anyango. That was on target. Does well, not only to get there, but to hang on. Modiba should have headed that away. Should have won that slide tackle. Does neither. They get a chance. Luckily, that was an easy save. Now it's 11-11. And we go to extra time. We go to extra time, the final. We have survived with a second draw against these guys. And we have slightly outplayed them, but it is so close. This thing really could go either way and in terms of xg the defense or the lack of offense anyway has been the story of this one much more motivated than we've been pre-game or halftime let's see if that gives us a boost for the extra time okay we have used two subs we have one sub remaining nobeni just came on the pitch and he's already got a yellow card or have we still not subbed zwayne it looks like we haven't subbed zwayne i mean there should be a ticker there but Maybe there's not because uh, the yellow card has replaced it. Serena. Oh, oh, Shalila. Wait, wait, what? What? What is going on here? Checking for a penalty. Penalty awarded. Shalila was held. We're going to step up. Aramenko. And we have the lead. We have the lead early in extra time. There is still a lot of time to play, but we are in the lead. Folks, could this be it? I hate it coming from the penalty spot, but man, oh man, would this be epic. There's only been one shot attempt in the entire extra time thus far. Ten minutes played. Coatsy, very, very tired. Let's bring on Kakana. Final sub. That's blocked. Close range, but they retain possession. Nobeni takes it back. He does have a yellow. 
And that's a poor ball. He gives it away, but that's the end of that. It's halftime of extra time. Several players. No, no, no. We're okay. We're okay. Let's not stand off now. We've got to play good, strong defense here late on. Time to start thinking. we got 15 minutes. Another five minutes gone by, and we'll start changing tactics to try to hang on to this thing. Drop more defensively. Pull some guys back and start wasting some time. They get a chance there, but it's too long, and on Yango easily picks that up. In fact, they just retreated. Now, a lot of fatigue in the legs. Okay, 11, nine minutes to go. Nine minutes to go. Let's let's get into the tactics screen. Let's start from here. So Franco, not good to drop back. What about Shalile? He can drop back. Let's drop him back then. I don't have any subs. Neither of these guys are going to play back, uh, but no Benny can drop back. Modiba can drop back. Okay, that's going to get us a little bit deeper there. Confirm. Serino. So Franco gives it away, but at least it's all the way back to their keeper. He plays the long ball. That's wasted. Gives it right back to us. Wow. Tactical changing, it still hadn't gone through. Finally, it does corner kick. Seven and a half minutes to go. Tons of tired legs. Let's get into those instructions. Time wasting, let's do a lot of it. Let's bring the tempo down. Don't worry about working the ball into the box. Out of possession. Drop it down to lower, not crazy low, but we are going to go very compact. Okay, okay. Those changes, imminent. Serino's going to take the free kick. He is going to waste time naturally. That's good. To Rook. Back to Serino again. Serino inside to Aramenko. Nabeni. Labusa. Possessing well. Jali. Back up to Nabeni. He's going to take it to the corner. Crosses. Shot. Over. Time going. Time going. Five minutes. Five minutes from an African Champions League trophy. Potentially. Can we hang on? There's a chance. Out for a goal kick. Labusa, there's Serino, Safranco, Modiba, turns a corner, takes it, crosses, gives it away. Now coming the other direction. We give him a little too much space, but we recover. He crosses on Yango. Oof. Hangs on to that one. Looked like it would have been an easy save, but he ends up diving. It looked like he thought he had it, and then kind of last second it was like, oh, it's just out of reach. He dives into stoppage. Into stoppage. Labusa's got it. On Yango, clears long to nobody but that's okay we're playing defensive that's gonna happen long ball over the top out goal kick 10 seconds on Yango still wasting time three seconds Labusa in possession there it is the whistle we have won the African Champions League there's one league match left to play uh, I will finish that off camera because we have now done the triple we have won the African Champions League, the African, the South African League, and one of the three South African Cups, <laughs> whichever one it is. That's a very minor trophy in comparison, but we've got the two big ones on offer. Hell yeah. Good way to end this thing. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time as we start our permanent series, which is going to come in dose form. We're going to have two series thanks to uh, the community for voting. The vast percentage, uh, more than 90%, went to one of three things. But those three things all came very, very close to one another. One to two votes kind of constantly fluctuating on which one was a little bit higher than the others. Two of those are going to be meshed together into one concept. And then I will have two series because the other one cannot be meshed. We will have a journeyman series. We will have a lower league manager in a small nation where we're trying to raise the nation, use the dynamic youth. But that lower league manager series will be combined with the youth factory as it will be a youth academy. See you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.